What's up guys, my name is MadSquash924, welcome back to another episode of some Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Um, I believe this is part 72 now, I mean we're getting quite far along in this let's play thus far. And um, we are coming back to the Ebon Hawk after, well, doing all the things we did in the last episode and finding out what Basila has become. Kind of an odd walk towards Where's the Basil? ship. Is she alive? What happened inside that temple? Okay, what do we got? Um, falling to the dark side. She's dead. There's no time. Well, Karth, Bastila may or may have not. I'm not saying um, she's still here. I mean, she kind of fled already. Um, but she fell to the dark side and she bit bammed out of here. And she, uh, you know, she headed to the Star Forge. The dark side? Bastila? No, no. How could that happen? She was always in danger of being seduced Who knows? by the dark side, Karth. Bastila was strong, but she was always impatient and headstrong. Malak preyed upon her weakness. This planet is a tainted place. The Star Forge and the Temple have twisted the Force into an instrument of evil, just as Malak has twisted Bastila into a servant of the Sith. Jaleigh's right. I mean, there is a lot of taint on this world. I mean, we've seen that firsthand. Um... Oh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like she still can be saved, you know? Um, surely she must be able to be saved. I mean, we were saved, yeah? Malik has a strong hold on Bastila now. It will be difficult for her to break free of his influence, especially considering her long association with you. Remember the bond that was forged between you when she rekindled the spark that was your life. Through that bond, she touched your memories, and also the echo of the dark taint within you. But there's still hope for him, right? Oh, I mean, Revan my dark the dark side, so Basila could too, right? We still might be able to save her. Yeah, we'll save her from, from her dark taint, just like everyone saved me from my dark taint. I understand how this is working out. Everyone's talking about their taints, and I understand. Um. Look, I'm not going to say it's a guarantee, okay, Karth? But I definitely will be damned, and I am going to try. I don't know what fate awaits us, but I sense Bastila still has a role to play in the events to come. I have no doubt she will be waiting for us on the Star Forge. No doubt, but let's go then before she has time to organize a bigger welcoming committee. That's true. Okay, first thing is first. Um, let us go and fix our ship up. That is the one thing we actually have yet to do. There we go. Brand new. The hyperdrive has been repaired and is functioning properly. Cool. Shit is fixed. Um. We could probably talk to Candorus. Wait a minute. Johanny's mission's all done? Okay. Let's talk to Candorus. This is mission is the only one that actually is yet to be completed for some yeah, reason. what do you want? So, uh, you got nothing. I got it. I right. Anyone How else? I be of assistance to you, Padawan? You want to talk, what perhaps? What you would like to speak to me about? You know, of nothing. Course. Right, uh, I guess we are settled then. Let us head to the Star Forge and get matters completed. There it is, the Star Forge. And we actually don't have any other options. We, I can't choose any other place. This, this space station is in an unknown configuration and has no entry in the Republic archives, of course. So, we begin the end game and the beginning of the final battle of the whole game. Public fleet must have gotten the message I sent as we were crashing into that planet. I'm picking up a transmission from them now. This is Admiral Thorne Dodonna to the Avon Hawk. Do you read us? Admiral Dodonna, this is Karth Anassi. We're receiving your transmission. Karth, I'm glad to see you're still alive. We've begun our assault on the Star Forge, but we're taking heavy losses. How did the Sith ever manage to build something of this scope? The Star Forge wasn't constructed by the Sith, Admiral. We don't have time for me to fully explain it. But that space station is far older than you can imagine. 
Maybe we should pull the fleet back and retreat. I don't know if we have the firepower to go up against this alien technology. You can't do that, Admiral. The Starforge is a factory of immense power. It's been churning out the capital ships, snub fighters, and assault droids that have powered the Sith war effort. You have to destroy the Starforge now, or you'll be fighting an unending wave of reinforcements. Then I guess we have no choice. But it isn't going to be easy. I can't even get our capital ships into position to start bombarding the Starforge. The Sith fleet is too well organized. It's like they can guess our every move and counter our every strategy. It's because of Bastila, Admiral. She turned to the dark side and became Malak's apprentice. We suspect she's somewhere on that space station right now, using her battle meditation against you and your fleet. This is Master Vandor. A number of Jedi Knights have joined our fleet under his command. If Bastila is using her power to augment the Sith, then Malak's fleet is invincible. Our only hope is to somehow stop Bastila from using her battle meditation. How can we do that if she's on the space station? I will send a squadron of Jedi Knights to the Starforge to find Bastila. Their small ships will be able to fly through the Sith blockade and dock on the space station. If they can find Bastila, they may be able to distract her attention from the battle overhead. That should allow you to move your capital ships into position for a final assault on the Starforge itself. I hate to ask this after all you've done, Karth, but the Jedi may need all the help they can get. Don't worry, Admiral. The Evan Hawk and her crew are gonna see this through to the end. And may the Force be with you. Sounds like plans are set up. Let's get to work. Pretty impressive. Okay. Yes, what's on your mind? So... What do you think of the Starforge? Well, I don't really know much about this place. Sorry. You that sucks. It. Let's see. Um, I could try talking to our crew one last time. Well, Candorus, rather, is probably the only one. Um, but I don't think anyone actually knows anything about this place, so I don't think it'd be actually helpful to ask them. Be more specific. It's your ship. You tell me, and that's about all I got to say about that. Now let's get going. I wasn't actually expecting anything out of him. Let's see if Candorus has anything to say, and then we will begin this our final like assault. The end of our partnership. The battle we fight here will change the face of the galaxy. You, Revan, are the single greatest warrior of this age, and any battle we fight will bring me honor. I'll stay by your side through anything. I don't think I'm ready to give up this life of mine. This life of fighting. Not quite yet. We have things we need to do here. I'm your man until the end, whatever path you take. Oh, that's sick. And that ends Canaris' quest. Just like that. Hey there. What um. Okay. All right. So from my knowledge, um, let's get the hell out of here. Um, begin our final assault. From my knowledge of this place, once I pick this group, I don't think I'm going to be able to pick a different group. So I think this is this is our final group that we're choosing. And I'm kind of thinking um, HK47 is going to be one of them. He's been very augmented towards all the power and, and stats we've buffed him into. Um, once uh, somebody we're definitely not bringing, we're not bringing T3 for reasons of, of obviousness. He's a astromech droid who actually does not have a lot of firepower. Zabar is also a little bit underwhelming. He has a lot of health, not a lot of, well, not a ton of damage, only okay damage. Um, he has a lot of health, but uh, he has like no defense. That's what I meant to say. Um, mission. 
pretty uh good defense. Her uh, damage output's pretty decent. Uh, she does not have a lot of health. Julie, pretty overall good for the force. Um, but this is gonna be a long and strenuous fight, which I don't think I want to bring Julie. Normally, I would bring probably Julie and Juhani, but I want to bring in somebody else. You know, switch things up. Um, especially since we just used Julie in the last episode and Juhani, so I'm not gonna bring either of them. Uh, just for that reason. Uh, Karth actually does not have a lot of damage output, surprisingly, um, even though he has some decent blasters, but that's it. So I'm guessing it's it's a toss-up between Candrus and Mission, who I want to bring. And I kind of want to bring Candrus. His new gun hits like a freaking freight train. That's what, you know, that's kind of why I want to bring him. Um, and I think I want to do that, but I would like to have um, a rain, like a melee unit with me. Hmm. Let's bring Mission. HK Mission. An unusual pairing, but a pairing I'm sure some of you foresaw after I've kitted them out to be so strong. You made it. Several Jedi have already gone ahead into the Star Forge. We have to strike while we still have the element of surprise. If we don't stop Bastila from using her battle meditation, the entire Republic fleet will be wiped out. Come on, before they... Damn! So much for catching them unprepared. We'll deal with these Sith. You get into the Star Forge and find Bastila. Hurry! Old fashioned Galactic Civil War. First things first, we are gonna go level up mission. Give her her treat injury, all her good stuff. And give her that. And then for you, HK, I think you get two levels actually, if I am remembering correctly. Oh, uh, kinda need Master Power Blast for him. Yeah, surprised we haven't had that sooner, truth be told. Right. And I can't change them, right? I thought not. Sure. Let's begin. Let's start helping them out a little bit. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We also... Because of what's happening, we actually don't really need to go out and um, scavenge for materials that much. Because it's mostly going to be consumables at this point in the game. Especially since we're not going to find a store anytime soon. Um, I do want to make a new save point, though. Just in case something awry happens, you know? Some big ass doors. A split path, a left and a right. Lord Malak, a team of Jedi have penetrated our defenses. Their fighters have landed on the Star Forge. This is not unexpected. The Jedi are formidable opponents. Send the Starforge's battle droids to deal with them. Lord Malak, forgive me, but how can mere droids be a match for the Jedi? You underestimate the power of the Starforge's droid army. Dispatch the droids. Of course, Lord Malak. The Jedi You've have seen them before. the Starforge. Destroy them. It's not red. Destroy them all. Cool. Okay, they're breaking through their own doors. That's lovely. Now, can I actually give Mission anything? I'm just thinking about it off of the top of my head. Um, because from here on out, it's just fighting. I'm trying to see if I can actually give her something that's going to be actually helpful for the fight ahead. 
Actually, yeah, we can give her the Mind Effect belt. And I kind of want to give her a decent shield. Um, pop that for yourself. Um, do that. Oh, they have shields? That's going to be a little bit of an irritant to get through. Imagine if we had Jalee, he would have plowed through them. Our defense is very high, though. I would like to think that mission can hold her her own. Might need these spikes later on. Because what's her defense? 30? That's pretty good. To be fair, my defense and HK's defense are both freaking 36. No, 32. His is 36. Mine's 36 when I buff myself. Um, I believe both these doors don't matter. I think they both go towards the same way. I think. Okay. Let's go. Hmm, she's not hitting that hard. I kind of hope she'd be hitting a little harder. Maybe I should have brought Candorus or, uh, Julie. Eh, it's too late now. We're already committed. Ooh, that was a good hit. We're looking pretty solid, I must say. How many med packs do we actually have? 50? We can use a couple of them, I think. Oops, I uh, popped a shield. Didn't want to do that, but it's fine. Pretty nice, pretty cool. Ever forwards. I got some more Jedi and Dark Jedi fighting it. Probably shall them out. Or you can stand by and watch. I mean, that's, I mean if that's our choice. You can do it. Ah, oh, you hate to see it. Ah, more victims for us to slaughter. Rude? I am not your victim. You're my victim. I have some pretty high chances to hit if they're just hitting me through my shields. Crazy. Oh, we got some crystals. Oh, we've had one of the one of those before. It's our it's a crit uh it's a critical crystal. Where does this go? I believe I, don't, I believe it doesn't matter, but I'll go the other way. I just want to take care of these dudes. Oh, they buff themselves. That's cute. Ah, she is buffing herself. Too bad, didn't matter. Okay, let's head the other way. I want to go this way. Again, I don't think it matters, but I want to go this way because there's more units to fight this way. And then this is the path that if we would have took the other split pathway, it would have brought us to this bridge. So, like I said, it doesn't matter. It's just more enemies to fight. Pretty cool. Pretty simple, even. 
Okay, more stuff. Let's get going. To deck two. Phase one, pretty easy of the Star Forge. What's up, dude? Why have you disturbed me? I have news, Lord Malak, about the Jedi. Ah, the Jedi. Did my droids pass their test? Did they destroy our enemies? N no, Lord Malak. The droids could not stop them. Strange. I did not think there were any among the Order who could survive an attack by an army of the Starforge's battle droids. It... it was Revan, Lord Malak. Your old master is with the Jedi here on the Starforge. Yes, that would explain why the droids failed. Revan was always strong in the Force. Very well. Send out all available troops, the apprentices as well. Think they can stop Revan, Lord Malak? Of course not. But they will slow Revan down. That will give me the time I need to fully prepare the Star Forge's defenses. I am curious to see the true extent of this space station's capabilities. One as powerful as my old master will make an interesting test subject. I suppose he's right in a way. Okay. Looks like we're gonna fight everyone off. Literally everybody. Okay. Oh, well, here they are. I think the first thing they tried to do was poison me. Hey, we just killed this one. Nice. Let's go. HK will just repair himself so we don't actually have to fix him up, which is nice. Whoa. Please go. Thank you. Um, the other pathway that's up there, that, that you can see, um, when I try to turn my camera, it's to the right, well, let me turn it now. Um, but over in the other upper entryway, I believe that is the other path, like that from the previous level. Because these always in intersect, which is good, um, in case something bad happens, you know? Oh, we gotta heal up. As I said, this is going to be a fight of longevity. And I just don't think... Um... Jolie can handle the longevity. I would like to think Mission could, but she's, uh... Not doing so hot. Alright, we already hit our first snag. Um, just spam that. Hey, there's a level, baby. I think that makes uh, HK's 20th level. If he gets in trouble, I'll, I'll pop his level. I believe Mission will get one too, right? Yeah, she does. Good thing. Yeah. Well, we'll pop Mission's level. Um, this is her final level. She'll become level 20. Um, can she get more dex bonus? She cannot. Okay. Oh, hello here. We can give her the plus three to uh, strength, and then we can up her strength by one. 
but she'll give her 16. So she'll pull out, she'll deal out more damage. That sounds cool. Actually, did she even use this? No. It's a cross class skill. So that's fine. Um, I want to give her more dueling. I kind of want to give her an implant at this point. I know it's a little late to do it, but I want to give her at least something. Or nothing. That's cool. That's okay. And then I think I want to save HK's level sure. for the moment. Yes. I do. I want to save HK's level for the just for the mere moment. And we can't. Yeah, I still can't actually do that. That sucks. Okay, let's go this way. There's gonna be a lot of these little turrets. And I better take them out. Come on. I kind of want to pop a shield for her. And I'll pop his shield too. And my force points are gone. Oh, that's good. So I can't pop master speed right now, which is unfortunate. Wow. Um, what do we have? Iron grenades? Is that going to do a bunch? Ah, not really. It does just as much as my lightsaber. I am keeping an eye on HK's health. He is taking a beating. Oh, okay. There it is. He has 2 HP. He got critted. Um, let's up his dexterity again. Um, repair, obviously, and demo. Now he has a defense of 37. We'll give him his shield. We'll pop her shield again. And I think I want to pop uh, a strength stem. Come on. Oh, good. This one's arrived. Must be not that bad. I'll take it there now. That's good. Oh, finally. Now, how is it over there? Um, he's dying. Um, this is the way forward. I'm pretty sure. To the elevator. Yeah, I'm almost certain that's the way forward. So we'll head this way. Wow. HK is just hacking and slashing with his gun. It's crazy. Okay. There was one thing I want to do before I end today's episode, and I think it's in this next room next to me. Yes, this is the room. I was correct. Okay. We need to use the computer. System loading, slice the computer terminal. I want to generate customized Jedi robes for 22 spikes. And I want to see the differences between these stats and my own stats. Starforge robes. Okay, so mine is 5 plus 8 with a plus 2 wisdom. These 
are a five plus eight plus two saves to all restricted to light side and plus five to wisdom that is so much better so much better it's great um and these robes are actually the light side equivalent of of uh revan's robes and that's pretty sick um i want to see if there's anything else in here that's interesting there's steel heavy armor Heavy battle armor, light armor. I mean, mission's with us, so we might need light armor, but I don't think it's gonna be any good compared to what she has. But these Starforged robes, dude, I mean, they're, they're crazy. Um, if we were dark side, if we were a dark side um, equivalent of our character, there would be, um, it will suck. Um, there would be um, robes of what Darth Revan looked like in the cutscenes when he looked like his old self. What the hell? There we go. What? No, 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 mission. No, 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 no. Never mind. I guess we're still fighting. I mean, Malik is definitely sending everybody after us, isn't he? Need some HP, girl. Yeah. Oh, not that. There we go. Oh wow, she got stasis? That's insane. Stop it! Not nice. My goodness. Are we good? Okay. All right, I think we're good. I want to get to this next little loading screen door if I can before, you know, more stuff happens. It just seems like the enemies just kind of spawn when you go to a certain area. So we'll try to get there before that happens. More might appear, but it's not a big deal. But man, the Star Forge is pretty impressive looking. I mean, look at it. It's very impressive, actually. And I think this is where we're going to end today's episode of some Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. If you guys did, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me you guys think of today's episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And I know we are very close to completing this game. Um, it's probably going to be the next episode or the episode afterward that it will end. If you're new to my channel or you've been watching me for a little while and you like Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, feel free to leave a Feel free to uh, subscribe to me at Squash924. And don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.